here's a good concept to get a grasp on and definitely well worth the research you would put into it to study it further this is the New York summation index and the New York summation index volume on the bottom window here so breadth up here volume down here and there are breadth and volume oscillators that are companions to the summation indexes themselves and at the top is the NYA McClellan volume oscillator up here and you can see it's above zero it went down really far to zero but it didn't push the volume summation index below zero so that was a good sign to see a bounce from that stay above zero now and any time the volume oscillator for the NYA is below zero and the summation volume index is below zero that's a great cause for concern and again these are all based on advanced decline lines and you can read about it over here about the traditional McClellan oscillator based on the AD line and this takes it a step further you can read about it here and RASI RASI is the ratio adjusted summation index which is what we're looking at here look at this rocket shot coming out of the November 2023 low and you can see the other times it did that went really high up near a thousand and this was the high volatility era here for sure and you can see here it rocket shot from the bottom it wasn't ready yet but then it did take off but then promptly right back down again so the goals have been achieved of getting the breadth summation index here on the top to around four 500 and staying at 500 or above and it did it for a long time length of time and that was a nice show here but this is a bit concerning anytime it gets under 250 positive for both of them the breadth here and the volume there so the breadth is at 137 and the volume is at 214 I'm going to pull the tape back to the COVID crash era now. So I pulled the tape back to near the end of 2019. This is the Fed going either, I forgot what it was, one rate hike too far or one roll off too far and was made to take it back or get hung by the yard iron out in the rose garden and take back that last 25 hike or whatever the roll off was he did meaning Powell and it promptly took off like a banshee and stayed up above 500 had its dips never really went below 250 as you can say and just had a wonderful ride here until the COVID crash got in the way but you can see between here and after the COVID crash so put your thumb over the COVID crash and this was one heck of a run big scare here during the QE period QE4 I believe it was but then it resolved itself it had one slight dip in below zero one red bar and then that was it so everybody's looking at this current era to see if it's going to be the continuation of this finally. There certainly was enough correction here to go along. And zoomed back in, you can see the volume oscillator. So like I said, if this goes under zero and this goes under zero, we got big problems. If it bounces from here and gets back above 250 well you can breathe a little easier and then if we get back up to 500 and beyond we're well on our way to fame and fortune 
And here's the other companion oscillators, the intermediate term volume oscillator on the top and the intermediate term breadth oscillator for the NYA on the bottom. And you can see during that QE4 period of 2020, the late October run up here, 2020, and then 2021 where the volume and breadth oscillators down here stayed above zero for really a long time about a half a year or more before there was a dip down so we were looking to do the same here and it just has not panned out here's the big run up but then it had a dip below zero for volume but not breath breath did manage to stay above zero so we can put up with the volume of advancers and decliners on the medium term here because the breath was really strong but back under zero for both of them so now the volume oscillator for intermediate term is going back above its 10 simple moving average signal line you can see it over here same thing with breath so if these move up get past zero then those summation indexes that we just looked at will be going back to 500 trying to get back above that will be in good shape fails to get above zero and rolls around to the downside again similar to these areas here when it tried to attack zero and then rolled over then we got big problems